from Cobb County, Georgia, we welcome you to baseball from SunTrust Park. Tonight, it's an NL Eastern Division showdown between the Miami Marlins and the Atlanta Braves. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Max Freed gets the ball for Atlanta in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you take a look at that ERA, and it's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start creeping back down. He definitely needs Leading to start to pitching a lot Miami. better than he has up the to this point, point, and it'll be Number interesting four. to see if he can turn it around in this one. First pitch of the at-bat. And here's a swing and a miss on the game's first pitch and that's how we'll get started in the Tuesday opener. The well, boys these Braves as they take the field here tonight they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah Maddie, for me today the key to winning this ball game begins and ends on the mound. And it has to be early on the attack getting 0 1. You can't allow these guys to get into count leverage and to hunt your fastball. There has to be execution down and away up and in to keep these guys honest and it has to start from pitch one. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two. Hit out towards second. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. Infielders are talking the time they hold a glove. That you've got to play the ball and not let the ball play you. You can see here that this one just ate him up and he couldn't recover in time. And next to the plate will be J.T. Riddle as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Riddle is a strong defender playing up the middle in the infield. He's got great hands, good range, the big arm, and those skills are not lost on his teammates, his coaches. And now they've got him in a rundown. They slap the tag on him, and he is out at second base. Played and in. It's a ball and a strike. And set up behind the plate is Joe McDonald, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew in this one. You know, you got to take your time and feel Joe McDonald out behind the dish a little bit. He has a tendency to move his zone around, usually set, settling in in those middle innings. You know, all you ask for an umpire is to be consistent. At times, Joe Mack is a little bit too inconsistent, particularly from a pitcher standpoint. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Well, that's something you see often in batting practice. Guys that using hurt. the whole field there, D-Row. Like I like to see that a Adam. lefty that's just not always pull happy. 100%, Dan. That pitchers have gotten so much nastier in today's game that if you're not willing to play with the entire field, you're going to struggle. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Swings through it for strike number two. Hey, he got away with that one right there. If he's going to live up there, spinning it up top of the zone, he's going to get hurt. Didn't quite catch the zone there, ball one. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0 2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. But lucky for him, it was just a little out of the zone. This is line to left, and that'll get down for a base hit. 
Hey, a little top of the order lightning right here, Dan. The second and third guys that in the batting order throw knocks the out there, and now you're staring 25. a monster in the face. Mm -hmm. Dero, this is just what you don't want to face as a pitcher, right? You get the two and three hole guys up, and all of a sudden now it's four, five, and six going to have to get through the meat of this tough batting order. Here's Steve Pierce now as he'll try and hold off the swing but this one's in there for strike one. One and one now the count of the Marlins first baseman. Riddle over at second Frazier is over at first with one away. One one pitch is a curveball that misses ball two. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Count remains two and two. The 2 2. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2 and 2. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. And here's how the visiting Miami Marlins will line that up in this good. one. Thoughts, Dan, who stands thing. out? Look, Matt, everybody should be looking at the guy in the three spot. He's really had a heck of a year in the power categories, slugging over 500 coming into this one. That means almost every time he's hitting the ball, he's hitting it hard somewhere. Should be fun to watch. Stepping in, Brian Anderson, as we run you the numbers to see the splits between July and August. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. The 0 1 offering. Nope. Here's one that misses high. It's 1 and 1. Anderson, originally from the Sooner State of Oklahoma, he's in his third season as a major league player. Here's the 1 1. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to 2 and 1. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Here's the 2 1. Takes this the other way to right. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Marlins strand a pair. And now the Braves will step up for their first opportunity to score. Sandy Alcantara, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, his last one was good. I'm sure he'd like to pitch a little bit better. Was able to get into the seventh inning. Got a no decision in his last one. He needs to get off to a good start here to try to get him and the team in the win column. Into the box now, Ender Enciarte. He'll lead things off here the in the bottom fielder. half of the first. Ender Enciarte. First pitch on its way. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. 
guys this Marlins ball club as they begin play here tonight they come in playing reasonably well of late though they have dropped their last two in a row yeah Maddie in this sport at this level you, you have to find a way to be a little bit realistic you're not going to win every ball game so they lost last game fine let's find a way to execute today and get on the winning side advantage count 2 and 0 to the brave center fielder the 2 0 on the way too tight with that one three and zero. that's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter this thing was inside and coming in hot and he just gave a stone cold take I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box no doubt about it three and one the count now the three one and he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Yeah, the guy's been on that fire lately, hitting anything right close. Field. So I think this yeah. is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. The next to bat for Atlanta, Nick Markakis. He carries the eighth best batting average in the National League entering play. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. He's set. Here it comes. Slapped hard the opposite way. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Hey guys, that's an excellent piece of hitting right there. A good change up down and away gives most batters problems. But trying to think the other way from an offensive standpoint, excellent job. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Back to back tough pitches and he's down 0 and 2 now. You know the old adage is you never throw a lefty down and in because their ability to turn and burn and this pitcher's taking that to heart. He is throwing everything away right here. Swing and a liner but foul. First and second here with nobody out. Now a curveball misses inside. Easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. And he lays on, so it's full now, three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count, 0 and 2, to work the count back to three and two. And he's seen a lot of pitches, too. And I don't think that's what he wanted to do, as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. Some guys take Batting a little course. time to find the zone, the but with the baseman. second walk of the first yeah. inning, it might be a little more than just Double settling third. in here. Not sure how long of a leash they'll give him, but they're not going to let him walk the world out there. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Set and the pitch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. In Ciarte, the runner at third. Marquez at second. Freeman on at first with nobody out. Line drive, base hit down the line. One run is scored. And the second run will score. That makes it a two-nothing ball game. Hey, one of the things you want to do, Bureau, is that strike is early, and they've no done just that with a big hit Whoa. driving in, too. Uh, yeah, Dan, great to grab an early lead right there, especially when you could throw up a crooked number for your pitcher.
And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike that average at 291 to start the day and even 20 home runs and 72 RBIs set to deliver the 0 and 1 there's a ball low he misses with a changeup. As a look, now the pitch. 1-1, one, one, a fastball high, 2-1 and one now. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. A swing and a ground ball to third to Frazier at the bag. On to Pierce at first, and it's a double play. And time now to take a look at how these Braves are lined up in this one. Dan Plesak, who are you focused on? Well, Matt, I'm excited to get a chance to see that left-handed hitter, Freddie Freeman. He comes into this one among the leaders in slugging percentage. How about top five in the National League? I love watching him when he comes up to the plate. There's just a, there's an electricity about him. He's got power and he's got that swagger that you just can't miss. And the next in is Johan Camargo. Only one hit for him in his last four ball games. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Camargo was born in Panama. He's most often considered a third baseman, but he's actually playing shortstop for his club in this one. Yeah, this issue would usually scare me a little bit. Third base being such a reactionary position and then going over to short and that being more of a rhythm and timing, creating footwork towards first base. Might have a little bit more time, but the way the shifts have been employed in today's game, he occasionally touches shortstop. He occasionally touches second base, so I don't think this is a stretch. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. One and, two. and he misses there. One and two. The one two. Misses for the second ball. Got him swinging in the dirt. Up with it, McCann. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We'll move on to the second now at SunTrust Park. It's the Braves two, and the Marlins nothing. Leading off the inning, Leading James the McCann, ball. as they'll look to get something going here and yeah. even this game up. Hey, we're McCann. still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First pitch of the at bat. And ball. he takes ball one. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Three and oh now. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Marcakis has a read on it. He's got it one away. Time for a look at the Braves on D. Hey, let's focus on Freddie Freeman, first baseman for the Atlanta Braves. He plays one of the most reliable first basemen in the game, makes the routine play. Not only that, he can pick and grin, saving his infielders some serious errors. Set to get his evening at the plate started, John Birdie. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. First pitch on its way. 
Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Yeah, you attack the zone and get a swing and a miss that late on your first pitch fastball. Good chance he's coming right back with the same thing. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Acuna's there for it. And that's the second out of the inning. Batting in. Stepping into the, the box, field. Robbie Franks. Robbie. And the average Frank. isn't pretty. Down into the roaring 220s to begin the ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. 0 oh, and 1 the count. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. Franks, a 25 year old, he's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Two and one. One strike. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. One, two, three go the Marlins. They're still down. It's two nothing. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. Well, He'll get us going here in the Just bottom half of the second. Albies. One of the keys to securing a win. Albies. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. Yeah, he just isn't that sharp on the mound right now. Had a rough start in the first inning, and now he's falling behind out of the gate here in the second. Some adjustments need to be made, and fast. In the air, down the line, and left. And they can't run it down. Into the windup, here's the 2 and one pitch. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Tyler Flowers is on deck. Aye. And he drops a change in on him there, and that'll run it full three and two. Pretty lucky to get away with that one. There's not a situation ever where you want to throw a high changeup, so I think he'll try to make an adjustment with the next one he throws. Birdie is there. One down. Check out the Miami Marlins on defense. The catcher. And if you look at the Tyler. numbers on this team, defensively, they're in the top five, fewest errors in the league. Flashing the leather, picking and grinning. Keep an eye on them. They play stout defense. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And next to bat will be the catcher, Tyler Flowers. First pitch on its way. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Aye. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. One out, nobody on. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Those 0 2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The next 1 2 pitch. 
and he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's out number two. So here now is the pitcher, Max Freed, as he'll get his Freed. first opportunity in this one. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. Hey, I don't know what happened in between innings, but he went down that tunnel with a few of his teammates and some coaches and found a way to regroup because he's been really good this second inning. After going out in the first, I thought it was going to be a super short outing. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Hey, this guy obviously feels he can move traffic right here. He's taking two big swings. He's trying to help himself. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Down in order go the Braves. After two, it's a 2 0 ball game. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Marlins, Sandy Alcantara. He'll step in to lead it off in the top of the third. Alcantara. First offering on its way. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1 0. Bounce to first. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the recovery's a quick one as he gets his man at first. Good composure that time to record the first out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Alejandro Cortez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First delivery to him on the way. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Bases are empty, one man out. One and one to the Marlins leadoff hitter. The one two is swung on and missed. He got him. Pitching 101 is changing location and upsetting the hitter's timing. You do that, and everything's going to be fine. In that strikeout, he never threw the same pitch twice in a row, and he won the battle because of it. Digging in now, JT Riddle. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. First pitch coming, here it is. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Two out, nobody on. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. Miami down in order. They're down two to nothing. to the top of the order now and that'll bring up Ender, Ender in Ciarte. The center fielder Ender. Here's the first Ciarte. pitch to him. And this one's not one close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And this is just off the outside corner ball two. In there, two and one. Love the pitch call there, 2-0. You know the guy's geared up for a fastball, and you drop a changeup in the zone. That's going to be a tough pitch to handle. And the pitch on two and one. Good movement bearing in. It's two balls and two strikes. 
Hey, if these guys are going to have any chance in this one, they are going to have to set their sights a little lower. You cannot expect to get the barrel of the bat to that baseball. That is entirely too high. This one's flared out toward left. Cortez is there, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So with one gun in the inning we'll take a look at where these guys sit in the standings and I think they can pretty much start to think about next year because they are well back in the division race. So one gun for the Braves here in the third and standing in the powerful right fielder Nick Markakis. Here comes the first pitch. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Oh, straightened him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. It's amazing. I tell so many fans, you get in a box one time, the one pitch you're going to swing at more than any other is that elevated fastball. Your eyes light up as an offensive player, and you just cannot get to it. One out, nobody on. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. This kind of hitter right here, we call this guy a grinder. What are our grinders? They just kind of foul off some good pitches. They they lay off the pitches just off the plate. This is every pitcher's nightmare. A guy that's up there with a plan and not just up there swinging at anything that you throw towards home plate. On to first, and Markakis is retired two away. The first baseman, number five. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the game, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Freddie Freeman. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. And right into the shift. On to first with his Pierce, and that'll be the inning. Braves are set down one, two, three, but they're on top two to nothing. Now in the box, Adam Frazier. He singled his the last time up. Things not Adam. looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Now a change up in on the hands that evens it at one and one. Oh here's a shot out to right center. He threw first and hustling for second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. So he's into scoring position now here on that double that kicks base. off the fourth inning. Team. And as you take a look there at the team leaderboard, you can see he tops all Miami Marlins in that department. Ready for another chance. Steve Pierce. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In the dirt here. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away.
Fastball misses away here. It's 2 and 0. Oh. Frazier, the runner at third with no outs. Three and O oh now. You can bet he's salivating a little in the box right now. He likes to drive in runs, and he's got a great situation and count to do that right here. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Nope. And he's able to lay off there for ball four. And that'll put runners at the corners now with still nobody out. Now batting. Third baseman. Brian. Anderson. Riding in once again, Brian Anderson hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next oh, AB. A bit high there, a ball and no strikes. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Anderson brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. The 1 0. Is in there for strike one. No runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Down the third baseline, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Albies scoops it up to second for one on the first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. It certainly looked like they might have had a big inning cooking there with first and third and no outs, but the double play kind of kills it. They did get the run in, but the batter doesn't get credit for an RBI. Into the box now, James McCann. As he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The wind up and the 0 1. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's 1 and 1 now. hit pretty well out toward right center field on the move is Markakis he's got it a great running play and that'll retire the side so it's one run one hit no errors and no one left to the bottom of inning number four we go Atlanta leads it two to one welcome back to SunTrust Park just outside of Atlanta as we send it down to check in with Heidi Matt, I had a chance to discuss the Braves' offense with their manager, Brian Snicker, during the commercial break. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. So stepping in, Josh Donaldson. He reached on a single in his first try. The third baseman. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. This guy's cruising along, pitching well as we enter the middle innings of this one. Less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. If he could clean that up a little bit, he could really roll into the later innings in this one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Cortez is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Good time now to check out the Marlins road to the show report as you see a couple of players in the upper levels of the minors that have been making waves as of late. Digging in to try it again Ronald Acuna. The 
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Lost it in the air out toward right center. Frazier is calling for it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. The bat. Boy, he showed some That's pretty good stuff. range heading pretty huh. deep into the outfield to bring that down one down. Go. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Johan Camargo as he drives a liner to right center that's his first base hit making one for two now uh, hey d -roll, that's just what you want to do keep the pressure now on he's given up a couple of runs base. early already in this RB. game and now he gives up the two out single yeah no chance right there you want to make this guy work you want to try and get into their pen as quick as possible and if two out knocks are the answer then so be it Standing in now, Ozzie Albies, as he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. Flied out in his first at-bat, so make him 0-1 for 1 so far. A one pitch on its way. Fastball just missed above the zone. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about with the first baseman holding the runner on. It's always smart to pitch into the defense you have behind you. The 1-1 home takes a pitch for strike number two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Oh, almost caught looking to end the inning, but it's called ball two and two. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. Ball three. Three and two now. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Here comes the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Braves strand one as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Don Mattingly about the Marlins' offensive production, and he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. They're struggling to drive the baseball into the gaps right now, as only one of their hits has been for extra bases. That makes it pretty tough to generate runs, but he said it's up to everyone in the lineup to make the necessary adjustments. It hasn't gone their way to this point, but that shouldn't mean they can't put together some great swings the rest of the way. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Now the pitch. Ball hit out to Albies at second base. Scooped up, and the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Up next for the Marlins. Now at the plate, Robbie Franks. He looked to bounce back after striking right. out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And that's high for a ball, 1-0. Two balls, no strikes to the Miami center fielder. That was one of the easiest takes he'll have all year, and it puts him in a great hitter's count. He's got to take advantage of this situation. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Well, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. If he's going to have the ability to flip that in there whenever he wants, this is going to be a tough test. Now the 2-1 pitch. Grounded up the first baseline, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Into the box, Sandy Alcantara. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch coming, here it is. Well above the letters with the fastball that time.
And this winds up inside for a ball. 2 and 0 now. Can't allow yourself to lose focus right here with the pitcher up. Got to stay on the attack. Minimize pitches against these guys and put them away early. Hit on the ground to third. Donaldson's there. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Marlins. They still trail it here, two to one. Here now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers. He'll look to light a spark under this lineup that hasn't found the scoreboard since back in the first inning. Yeah, and for me, the story has been the starting pitching they faced. It's been very difficult to rebound and, quite frankly, dominate after getting roughed up a bit in the first inning of a start. So I'll give him a lot of credit for what he's been able to do. First offering on its way. Oh, what a pitch to start the at-bat there. It's nothing in one. And now the Marlins bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Strike taken up in the zone. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's one and two. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. Oh, and he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate with the fastball as he backs him off a bit. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Popped straight up in there, a base hit. So it's an inning opening base hit, and the Braves have a man on. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. The I know it's a soft liner, four. but leadoff man on Nine. usually poses problems. Three. Into the box, Max Freed. And the pitcher is, in fact, bunting here as he puts this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. The center fielder, number one. Stepping into the box, Ender, Ender Inciarte. He in flew out in his last bad. at bat. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And this one runs up high, ball one. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Clearly staying away from him in this at bat with that runner in scoring position tells me they're trying to force him to reach for something and maybe roll over on it. Now the 2-0 home. The count now at 2-1. and one. The 2-1 home. Lifted down the line and left. But this will land untouched. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance.
and a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. And with first base open, the last thing he wanted to do was give now him that. something to hit in the heart of the, the right zone. Fielder. So no harm Smith. done. Force out anywhere oh, now. Arlene go. Garcia You're will come on please. in relief here and appear now in game number 25 on the year number so 66. far. Arlene Garcia. Nick Markakis will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. Here's the first pitch to him. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Now this will rattle up against the wall. And the second run will score. It's now a four to one ball game. This thing was a double or more yeah, right. the second it left his back. Yeah, he really drove it well. Ready. And it ended up one hopping Ready the wall back. out there. And more importantly, he picks up two RBI along the way. Stepping in now, Freddie Freeman. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. I'm set with the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Markakis, the runner at second with one away. And it's fouled away. The 0 2 delivery. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Now batting, third baseman. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And that brings up the former American League MVP, Josh Donaldson. First pitch on its way. A changeup floats outside here for ball one. And this one's too far inside, ball two. Two zero on the way. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Popped him up. Riddle is there for it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Braves four and the Marlins one. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Alejandro Cortez. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game, but this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. 
These are huge innings for a team's morale. The pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. The 1 1 home. This is hit the other way out toward left field. The Cunha has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. So coming to the plate, JT Riddle hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. Swung on and missed for the first strike. One run on three hits and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Pitch is popped up. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. Striding into the box, Adam Frazier. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. First offering on its way. No balls in one strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Line towards center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Miami down in order, and this is still a 4-1 ball game. Standing in, Ronald Acuna, 0 for 2 for him to this point. The left fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. First pitch coming, here it is. And there's a base hit on the line. So that leadoff base hit means considerable speed aboard to start out the inning. Hey guys, he was obviously trying to bury that slider down, down the mid. Nice Good execution stop. by the Yo batter high. right there. Keeping his hands Jump inside, fighting it off for a nice base hit. Into the box now, Johan Camargo. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0 and 1. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Line drive to center field. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Yeah, it looked like the center fielder got a fairly good now jump on this ball, but he just doesn't have enough hops to bring it in. And once it's by him, you know he was going to get at least a double. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. Down and the batting. force play Get is now in order. Tyler. Now with the play, Tyler Flowers popped out and singled in his two trips to the plate. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope. And a layoff fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1-0. That's wide 2 and 0. Putting himself in a pretty bad situation now on 2 and 0 and the base is loaded. He basically doesn't have much of an option but to challenge him right here. The 2 0. A line shot to third base. Pickard, 54. 
Freed. Now batting, Max Freed. He laid down a sacrifice bunt in his last trip. And not easy to do in today's game. High velocity, exploding breaking stuff. He executed that sack bunt perfectly. First pitch of the at bat. Now a first pitch changeup here. Too far inside, it's 1 and 0. Acuna at third, Camargo on second, Albies at first, one gone. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. You put yourself in this situation, you got to get yourself out of it. You got the pitcher at the plate, 2 0 count. You got to take your chances and throw something middle of the plate. Now the 2 0. 2 and 1 now. The 2 1 is swung on and missed for strike number two. In a double play situation, that's the location you want a guy to swing at. More than likely, he's going to beat it into the ground. The 2 2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Here's Ender in Ciarte. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. The set and the 1 0. And he comes back with one in there for a high strike. Sixth inning, 4 to 1 is our score. Now a ball hit in the air, and this looks like it'll get him out of it. Birdie is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Braves will strand three as they hold on to a four to one lead. Back here at SunTrust Park, seventh inning straight ahead with the Braves leading this one. But before we get it started, let's take a look there at the game summary to this point. Otis Vizcaino is on now yet again this season as this will be his 95th appearance of the year. Wow. Next for Miami, Steve Pierce. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Here's the first pitch to him. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. Ball one. One and one. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, man, he just tied him up in knots right there. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. The next one two pitch fouled away. Line drive to center field. Inciarte patrolling center makes the play one out. Good contact the to start out the inning. The Thought he might be on base with some Ryan sort of a hit, but Andrews it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time.
Standing in now, Brian Anderson. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And there's ball one. And he misses two and one. We're in the seventh now. Four to one our score to this point. Nope. Three and one. Three three Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Fastball in there, three and two. Popped up. Freeman is over and he tucks it away for the second out. The catcher coming to the plate now. James McCann. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Here's the pitch. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. This offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk at the same time. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be the hero and just start getting the leadoff guy on. Well, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Back to back pitches. They've gone away. Do you tell yourself as a hitter he wants to come in right here. I don't think so. I think he's trying to find that outside corner and adjust accordingly. Swung on missed two and one. He's going to need to shorten up and get that foot down a little bit earlier if he hopes to be catching up to that fastball. The two one home is strike two swinging. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a full count for James McCann. Three balls and two strikes. John Birdie would be next. And he fouls this one off. Another full count pitch on its way. He spoils another one and will do it again. Again, another foul ball. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Full count still. Two out, nobody on. And he struck him out. A 10 pitch battle, but he finally wears him down as the inning is Ladies over. One, two, three, go the Marlins. They trail it four to one. Austin Bryce gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 37, Austin Bryce. Ready once again, Nick Markakis will try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. Nick First delivery to him on the way. Strike one to start the at bat. Comes set and the 0-1 is taken for strike two. 
Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right hander is up and throwing. Oh and two here it is swing and a ball hits softly on the ground. Another 0 and 2 coming. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Frazier backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Now now out of the plate, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. No hits to Freddie. this point. Freeman. Here comes the first pitch. Popped him up. And this is taken in for the second out. Up next for Atlanta. So now it'll be the, the four hole baseman. hitter, Josh Donaldson. Josh. He's got a hit in three at Donaldson. bats to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Frazier right there on to Pierce at first, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Braves, but they lead it four to one. Your Daniel Winkler please. has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 58. Get go. Winkler. Into the box now, John Birdie. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. Right 0 for 2 at this point. John Birdie. Here's the first pitch to him. And a strike called at the letters. Looked high to me, but it's nothing in one. Swing and a liner. Foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead and account 0 2, and then start working outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. Into the box, Robbie Franks. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Hey, let's not sugarcoat this. This is a huge half inning right here. They have to find a way to score a few runs. They do not want to face the closer needing three runs in the ninth. That means game over. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Eighth inning, four to one is our score. And you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Just tied him up with that last pitch. Now Pretty evident by the, the swing. Sometimes Austin. guys get in that protect Run. mode so much that they're swinging at everything that they see, and they end up offering at pitches that they can't possibly do anything with. You're a Jorge Alfaro. We'll get the call here he's as he'll hit for, for the Miami. pitcher. Number 38, Jorge Alfaro. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Oh, man, he's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down, two to go. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. And a wasted pitch there, one and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Hey, I don't mind those pitches down below the zone trying to go for the strikeout right there. 
but you find yourself in a 2-2 count right here. Interested to see what he goes to. Fouled off. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Two out, nobody on. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Miami down in order, and this is still a 4-1 ball game. Tehran Guerrero is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Miami, number 56, Tyron Guerrero. Riding in, Ronald Acuna. He'll have a new pitcher waiting for him as we begin their half of the eighth. Acuna, Junior. First pitch coming. Here it is. Right down Broadway that time. Strike one. If you know you got a real patient hitter at the plate, I love the mindset of this pitcher right here, attacking the zone 0-0 and getting ahead. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. And it's fouled away. The one two it is a fastball that misses. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and now trying that. to protect before the Not ball even stop. left the pitcher's hand. Yeah. That pitch wasn't even Got close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. Stepping in now, Johan Camargo. And he puts it on the ground to second. And that finds its way into center for a one out base hit. Yeah, that hard hit single right there. That's clean. Three for four. He's looking locked in. Avi. Avi. Into the box now, Ozzy Albies. In the dirt. In time as he just gets the tag down. Bases are empty here with two men out. Albies with a one and one count now. Looks like a left hander up and throwing now in that Marlins bullpen. Pulled toward right center field. Franks on the move. A dive and he brings it in. And on a fantastic play, the inning is over. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area. And I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Darren O'Day takes the ball now in He's inning number nine, looking Atlanta. to close the door. Now pitching and batting in the sixth spot, number 56, Darren O'Day. Now playing shortstop and batting. Kicking high. off the top of the ninth, Alejandro Cortez, Dancing. and they'll need him to get Watson. something going here. They look like they're up against it here, down three on the road, trying to come back against a closer. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A ball and no strikes.
This is pulled into right. And that'll make him one for four in this one. With that, the Marlins get a good start to the inning with their leadoff man aboard. So he waited till the ninth inning, but he comes stuff. through here to extend the hit streak. That was close. Riddle. Yeah, Matty B, you see that wry smile of him coming out of the box right there. He knew what was on the line. He'd be lying if he didn't. Uh, there's a lot of pressure on you because you're walking into that batter's box thinking, I have a nice streak going, and this is more than likely going to be my last A-B. He comes through in the clutch. In now, J.T. Riddle. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. And that's in there. Base hit. Man, he's seeing it like a beach ball right now. Oh, Even his soft contact is finding holes there. Adam. He's making it nearly Wait. impossible for a pitcher right now. Up, down, in and out, hard, soft. Anything you throw forward to home plate, this guy seems to somehow be able to find a hole. Standing in now, Adam Frazier fouled away. He's two for three and looking for more here. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. No doubt. Some saves come easier than others, and I know this all too well. They're really making wrapping this thing up a difficult task. Now the one and one pitch. Misses, ball two. Two balls, one strike. Cortez over at second. Riddle at first with no outs. Two and two to Adam Frazier. The two two. And he fouls this one off. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Well, his struggles continue. The first it's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and mm -hmm. watching this at bat, yeah. it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Into the box, Steve Pierce, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1 0 is a slider looked at and called a strike. Now the one and one pitch is looked at off the plate for a ball. Now the two one pitch. Hot shot to third. Donaldson's up with it. Over to Albies. On to first and he rolls the double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. And he just keeps on going and going. That's save number 35 for the season. And he's proven to be as reliable as anyone in the game. A 4-1 to finish in this evening's game. The Braves jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Max Freed with his fourth win this season. Darren O'Day closes the door for the save, his 35th of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.